Hi everyone, Brian Jones here. Today we're going to talk about port tubes. Today we're going to talk about port tubes. These came with all the other things you saw in my last video. They were a little bit longer when I first received them, but the plan for the speaker called for them to be cut down to three inches. And they're mounted here on the bottom of the rear piece of the speaker. The center of the port tube exactly four inches up from the bottom of the speaker. To make the holes for the port tube, I used a little Ryobi palm router and I made a jig out of some scrap plywood. I put a nail right in the center at that four inch mark and I pre-drilled the hole here. Put that on, and just went around and around and around until I had my hole and the port fits nice. It's not too snug that I have to force it in, but it's not so loose that it's wobbling in the hole. It's no play there at all. To cut the ports to the right length, I wasn't sure how to do it. I didn't have a hacksaw to cut the PVC, and I didn't. So what I did is I took my miter saw, cut a block to three inches, place that there, and I put the port here, and then I cut, turn, cut, turn, cut, and turn. That gave me a nice cut. After they're both cut on the miter saw, I took some sandpaper and a sanding block and sand it up at the edges to get rid of any burrs around the edge. If you're going to cut it with a miter saw, I will warn you, there's a ton of little plastic bits get thrown off of here. Wear safety goggles. For the glue up today, I'm going to take my port tube and tie bond, put it right around the edge here on the inside, put that off the side, rub some around here, Put it in. Let's do this. I watched a video yesterday of a guy making a car subwoofer. And he used epoxy or silicone for this job. Living out here in the countryside of Japan, I don't know where to get those things. So I'm just going to use what I have, which is this good old original formula, type on. Let's put some around here. So I shouldn't use my fingers so much in all these projects. Probably something better to use. I didn't get any better tips for gluing. Put them in the comments down below. Appreciate it. Gluing is one of my least favorite parts of almost every single project I've ever done. So, anyone that can make my gluing life easier, please, please let me know. On the forum where I bought the parts, it said that these plastic rings can crack fairly easily. So I don't want to put a ton of pressure on them. Just enough to keep it in place. If it cracks, I think I'd cry. You don't want to see a grown man cry, do you? Me neither.
people say, it's a good idea to go back 30 or 40 minutes later, just kind of readjust your clamps, loosen them up, clamp them back down one more time, just to make sure you get good pressure on all the points. So I'm going to do that, and I'll wipe up any extra glue at that point too. But this is how I'm going to do my port tubes. If anyone's got any tips to help anyone else that's thinking of doing the same project or a similar project, please put it in the comments down below. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, why don't you hit the like button down below, and while you're at it, push that little subscribe button too. It really helped me out. See you next time.